Before we get into your reading, I'd like to start by thanking everyone who has liked and commented on the videos, as well as subscribed and donated to my channel. I really appreciate it, you guys. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can find all of my contact information, including my email and social media links, as well as links to my music and podcast in the description below this video. Okay, let's get into your reading. What do we have for Pisces? Hierophant and the Tower. At the Foundation and the Sacral. Pisces, before I began your reading, I had to check in with the energy. I actually got Hierophant in reverse and the Devil fell right on top of it. So I'm picking up an energy here of something very dark that is painting itself as the opposite. It's basically a demonic kind of energy that's trying to present itself as an angel of the light. This energy is trying to infiltrate your auric field. It's an energy of deep forms of narcissism and gaslighting. It's an energy that's trying to get very close to you, merely to bring you to a point where you trust it, and then it shoves you over the edge. I feel the way this is going to show up in your life, Pisces, is by people making you feel like you can confide in them, that they've been sent by the divine. They may present themselves as the missing piece in your life or the missing piece to something that you're trying to manifest. But this energy here is a final test before a breakthrough. It's as if this energy represents something you've already overcome in your past and is trying to weasel its way back in right before you have a breakthrough. It's an energy that wants you to conform. And if you don't act exactly the way they want you to, they'll break you down. They'll push you over the edge. This is what narcissists do. They build you up. They tell you everything you want to hear. They make you feel safe. And then when you least expect it, out of literally nowhere, they'll drop you like a hot potato, leaving you with your thoughts, possibly overcome or overwhelmed with emotion. What did I do wrong? I don't understand. I was just trying to be kind. This is how the devil is working in your life, Pisces. It's very hard to overcome this when it happens. It's very upsetting. But it's very important, Pisces, that you hold your head up high and keep marching forward. And remember that there's always going to be a test sent in from the devil right before you have a major breakthrough. This energy wants to disempower you, tower at the sacral, wants you to feel like there's something wrong with you, manipulate you, play on your emotions. For some, this is an energy of love bombing. Somebody you just meet starts love bombing you, and you don't respond exactly like they do, so they drop you, or they respond negatively. Very dark, very demonic energy. Anybody who feels the need to do that has some sort of attachment, some sort of blockage. Typically, it's going to be a heart chakra blockage. It's something they're carrying from a past relationship, and they're trying to bring it into a timeline with you. And if you don't act accordingly, then they're going to treat you similarly to the way they were treated in that previous connection. This is why I always talk about releasing any sort of resentment, bitterness, clearing out that heart chakra blockage before you entertain the idea of bringing somebody new into your life because that person will become a target for all that unreleased energy, making them suffer unnecessarily. But whatever is going on here, Pisces, it's most definitely a spiritual attack. I feel it in the collective Pisces energy right now. You just need to stay very, very focused, Pisces. Eye on the prize. Now is not a time to be entertaining new options. Now is not a time to get distracted. You need to stay very focused on what it is you're manifesting here. What do we have at the solar plexus? Wow. Unbelievable. Judgment, Pluto, Scorpio, energy at the solar plexus. Look at this energy. This energy is like an earthquake. An earthquake in the energetic realm. I just heard a line being drawn in the sand. It's like there's been an infiltration, a representative of the dark, 
has infiltrated your life in some capacity or is about to and is trying to get you to come off path. You're going to get signs, signals about this, Pisces. If anything feels off, even in the slightest, no matter how good things may look on the surface, what is your gut telling you? Because there's an energy here that's almost hard to resist. It's like this person comes through saying all the right things. It's almost overwhelming. You think that they're sent by God, but oh no, this is not a God send. This is most definitely sent by the devil. If you need to change the way your life looks, Pisces, in order to accommodate another, this should be the first sign that this is not your person. This is not your opportunity. This is not whatever it is that it's presenting itself to be. This energy is trying to attach itself to you in some capacity. Be careful what you share with this energy. It's the type of individual that will make you feel like you can tell them anything, and then the next day, you'll be regretting having ever shared anything with this person because you see a different side. You see, well, it's definitely the energy of something bipolar. For some of you, this is the type of energy that you confide in and that if you don't act the way that they want you to act, they use it against you. So I would just keep everything to yourself right now, Pisces. Definitely do not overshare anything that's been going on in your life lately. And if you feel the need to do that, recognize that and stop yourself immediately. Something very dark about this energy. It feels overwhelming. What do we have at the heart, please? Wow. Ten of cups right there at the heart. Unreal. This is what they're painting to you. Ten of cups, right? Energy of love bombing. Right there at the heart. It's like this person is stuck in the matrix. They're running the same program over and over and over again. It's like they're stuck in a simulation. And everybody that comes into their environment falls victim to these tactics. It's like an energy of them saying, wow, God sent you into my life and everything they say is right. You think that the divine is blessing you. You think, finally, it's here. And then when you least expect it, they pull the rug. It's as if the devil has been sent into your life in the form of this person to knock you off your path, to make you lack faith, lack confidence, make you feel down, like there's something wrong with you. I feel like you were very kind to this person, Pisces. You may have extended yourself in a very genuine way, only to be regretting having done so now because they've turned around and hurt you in some capacity. It's like trying to help a dog that's wounded and it bites you. I feel that this person you're dealing with is a deeply traumatized individual that is just out in the world now spreading that sickness, trying to bring everybody down to their level. Ten of Cups, Pisces energy at the heart. This is essentially high vibrational Pisces energy, but the way I'm reading it, in combination with these other cards, it's an energy that's presenting itself this way, but it's actually shadow Pisces energy, so it's an imposter. There's an energy of failure here. It's an energy of having misaligned values with somebody, thinking God sent something into your life, jumping on board because on the surface it looks great. You get all the way out to sea, and then they abandon you on the ship with the emergency boat, and they take the keys to the ship, or they take the oars to the boat, leaving you destitute, without hope. Definitely an energy of a bamboozling here. And I feel like the devil has sent in some of his best people to pull this off. It's not going to work, but it will slow you down for a minute if you allow it. It's very important that you push through whatever this is here, Pisces. There's a reason why this is happening. Wow. Knight of Cups. The way it fell on that Hierophant, and it's leaning a little bit more to the reverse, which is telling me that it's presenting itself as something it is not. Knight of Cups upright. 
in accordance with this reading, somebody coming through acting like they're saving you in some capacity. Knight in shining armor kind of energy, male or female. But it's all a lie. Knight of cups in reverse at the throat. This person is a this person is an agent of the dark, painted as one of God's chosen. This is the kind of person who sits around in daydreams, simulation on repeat in their mind, blocked heart chakra energy. I'm also getting overactive throat chakra energy. Somebody who's very opinionated, very harsh with their words, doesn't know how to communicate with others, leaves people hurt, wants people to feel the pain they feel. Very, very sad case with this individual. I can sense the blockages that they have within their spirit. There's a lot of trauma inside this person, but this does not excuse their behavior. Each and every one of us is tasked with overcoming these demons, these blockages. This is somebody who still has a lot of work to do, but unfortunately, they're making it worse for themselves because they're going out and now hurting other people. It's one thing to have these blockages and keep to yourself and you know you have the blockages so you just keep a good distance from people because you know you have some healing to go through. It's another to go out into the world and hurt other individuals based off of the struggles you may be going through in your own spirit. This is somebody who has essentially given up and subscribes to the left-hand path. Knight of Cups in reverse is a very superficial and false kind of person. This person is very crafty, and they're very emotionally turbulent, very evil and merciless. This is not somebody you can trust at all. What do we have at the third eye? Six of Wands, Leo energy at the third eye. Like I said, Pisces, this is nothing more than a delay. I feel as though this is one of the final lessons that you have to overcome before you step into this new season of your life. There's a reason why this needs to take place. I would recommend keeping cool, keeping a level head, being the bigger person, not engaging, just pushing forward. This energy wants you to engage. This energy wants you to act. This energy wants to get you to act out of character. This is the kind of person that loves to bring the darkness out of people because it makes them feel better about themselves. Truly a sad case. This person also knows that you're destined for some sort of greatness, but they want to see if they're powerful enough to affect your self-confidence. This person wants you to give up. Why would anybody want another person to give up? Well, Pisces, I can only put it down to them being agents of the dark. This is what these individuals do. They want people to give up their faith in God, take the left-hand path. And another thing about God, Pisces, if you hear this person speaking about God all the time, which I feel like they are, you may want to ask them what God they're actually talking about. Because I do not feel that it's the same God you think it is. I feel like this individual here worships a different kind of God, the God of the underworld. This is one of those kinds of people that would worship a God that maybe you've never even heard of before, right? Like some just weird demon, you know, or maybe they worship Baal. This is what I'm getting here. What do we have at the crown, please? The star. Wow. And then Five of Cups, Scorpio energy, also flipped over in my deck. So we'll consider that. This person knows exactly who you are. And the only reason why this is taking place is because they want to be favored by their God as being the one that was able to convert you, turn you, defeat you. I cannot tell you how many people will come into your life and try and do this without you even knowing. You're somebody who spreads hope. You are a walking miracle, just based off of everything you've already overcome up until this point. There's a light that illuminates from you that irritates people, and they don't even know why. The only thing they know is that something inside of them tells them that they need to put it out. This is a form of possession. 
you know, when you suffer with these blockages in your chakras like this, they can lead you to act out like this, to want to hurt other people. And you'll feel justified in doing so, like this person here. They've targeted you simply because you reflect back to them everything that's unhealed inside of them. You are destined for absolute greatness, Pisces. And you will be tested time and time again. This test here, though difficult, was merely brought into your life to see where you may have some chinks in your armor. What do we have at the foundation, please? Five of Swords, Sabnuk. This is an energy of termination, ending unhealthy relationships. These energies exposing themselves to you. It's also an energy of defeat. The devil sent this energy into your life to try and defeat you in some capacity. And Pisces, you have to remember, it's all about our time, the way we spend our time. I always talk about this. The devil just wants to run out our life clock. So if an energy is able to take away your time, they've essentially gotten a win over you because we only have so much time and we have a destiny that we need to fulfill in this life. So if the devil can infiltrate your life in the forms of one of these individuals and take some of your time, then they've essentially gotten a win over you in some capacity. It's very important that you recognize this and push forward in power and the understanding of how the devil actually works. The devil essentially can't touch you, but the devil can manipulate you, play with your mind and your emotions, using these individuals that we see on this table as extensions of himself in order to get you to self-sabotage. That's the only way the devil can get you, is if you give up your faith and self-sabotage. This is what this is all about. What do we have at the sacral, please? What do we have at the sacral, please? Wow. High Priestess Dantelion. This is an energy of having a blocked intuition disconnecting you from source. Giving up your faith in higher guidance. Devil on the shoulder kind of energy. Left hand path, right hand path, right underneath the tower. You waken up to the truth. Something about your energy that makes this individual or individuals feel disgraced. What do we have at the solar plexus, please? Six of wands, murmur. Six of wands twice now. But I read this card in its detriment because it's a shadow energy, a demon. Judgment stacked with six of wands in its detriment at the solar plexus. The divine telling you this energy has been sent into your life to sabotage you, to get you to self-sabotage. Creating illusions, playing with your mind, playing with your emotions, so it goes relatively unnoticed. That's what self-sabotage is. It's something that you essentially do to yourself. But this is an energy here that projects a certain kind of energy onto you, influences you in some capacity to self-sabotage. Could be an energy that's instilling self-doubt into you, making you feel like there's something wrong with you, so you just give up. What do we have at the heart, please? Vipar, malviolent behavior. Eight of Cups, Pisces energy again. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Cancer Scorpio, Pisces. Goes along perfectly with everything we're saying, Pisces. This is somebody who wishes to hurt other people because they themselves are in pain. This is how they justify their actions. And I feel like that may be a cup or a mirror, but to me it looks like a, a mirror, right? Mirror, mirror on the wall. 
you reflecting back to them everything that's unhealed about them right there at that heart chakra. This person has a major heart chakra blockage. This is one of those people who doesn't trust anybody. And it's different than having a hard time trusting people because you've been hurt so many times. This is something different. This is the kind of person who goes out of their way to connect with other people in order to make them hurt. So like I was saying before about knowing that you have a blockage, knowing that there's something inside of you that needs to be healed, and you essentially just keep into yourself, not making other people suffer, and just dealing with that, healing it. This is representing this person going out into the world and spreading the sickness. Look, it's like they have those tentacles. It almost looks like there's a flower on the end of the tentacle, like they're extending an offer. Hi, take this flower. The person reaches out for the flower, and then all of a sudden they're wrapped up in this octopus tentacle with this disgusting-looking beast that looked very beautiful on the surface. Knight of Cups at the throat. Presents themselves in a certain manner. What do we have at the throat, please? Page of Swords, ha a -ia. God the Refuge, governs dreams and reveals mysteries hidden from mortals. I feel as though this person is jealous of you in some capacity here, Pisces. There's a lot of gossip. There's a lot of, there's a lot of spying going on from this energy, I feel. It's an energy of having to deal with somebody like this. You're the bigger person. You move on with your life. You just go about your business as usual. And now they're just watching every move you make to see if you say something or to see if you mention them. This kind of energy, right? If you have a social media platform, maybe they're waiting for you to speak on them or something like this. It's very, very ugly behavior. Very childish. What do we have at the third eye? Four Swords, Liber Energy, Aha Hell, the God of Trinity, Mission, protects against slander and impious people, says it all. You are protected from this energy, Pisces. Only a little bit of this energy will touch you or seemingly affect you. It's just enough to check the chinks in your armor, so to speak. I feel like you will be grateful for this on the other side because there's something that this energy is going to leave you with, a lesson. You're going to do things differently moving forward. I feel like we're entering a season where we need to be very, very aware of the individuals that are coming into our lives, into our auric field. Like I said, it's a spiritual war out there. And inside the matrix, inside the simulation that all of us are living in, these agents are being sent into our lives without us really even being able to see what lies within them. What I mean by this is we simply can't see the demons inside of them. That's why there's a matrix around us, so these energies can do what they do and go unnoticed. Pisces, my right palm is itching like crazy right now, okay? You just need to keep pushing forward. There's something coming your way. And like I said, it's like this is some sort of final test before there's some sort of breakthrough. What do we have at the crown to close this out for Pice, please? Too many cards. What do we have at the crown? Ten of Wands. Naniel. Sag Energy. God humiliating the proud. Spiritual communication. Influences religious men, teachers, and men of law. This is an energy of freedom, Pisces. It's also an energy of knowing when to say no. Like I said, Pisces, this is taking place because the divine needs to check for any sort of weakness inside your auric field. It's like going through a roadworthy test, right? Because you're being prepared for something great. You're about to have a huge achievement in your life. But this final test is going to come through and make you feel relatively overwhelmed, like you're doing something wrong. 
Don't allow anybody to knock you off path, Pisces. You're right where you need to be, and you're moving in the exact manner that the divine needs you to move in. And remember, this is only a test. This is only a test. Pisces, this is the energy that's available to you, depending on where you are on this timeline, should you choose to accept. I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you would like a personal reading, you can find all of my contact details in the description below this video. And thank you for your donations, Pisces. Take care.